Right, we've got a real treat. We've got a vegetarian dish. We are making pancakes, but we've got a savoury stuffing and we're doing it with paneer. And what is paneer here, you ask? Well, it's a cow's cheese milk, a fresh one, and it's really firm. So we're going to pan fry it. We can get it nice and crispy and it won't melt. And then we've got lots of uh, Indian flavours with this. We've got some curry paste. We've got some mango chutney and some coconut yoghurt as well, which we're all going to stuff it with. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And you're going to see Mike make some pancakes <laughs> or attempt to make some pancakes. It's going to be hilarious. Great to have you with us. We're on the Biko Kitchen and, well, Mark thinks I'm making them, but we together will make pancakes, <laughs> but not like I've ever heard before. So what's a paneer pancake? Well, paneer's the cheese. Oh, okay, so, cool. so this is the paneer. Nice. So it's like a fresh cheese uh, from cow's milk. Oh, it's, it's really firm. firm. Yep. And we're going to be able to fry that and make it go crispy after. Ooh, and nice. then we're going to build a, a sauce around oh. it, like a, a sort of a, a curry, it's sort of a light curry sauce around oh, yum. it. Okay, so good. packed full of flavour, but first we need to make the pancake dough. Okay, cool. So flour gonna, in there. You're going to wash your hands, aren't you? Yeah, you can wash your hands. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to want help. A little bit of salt. <laughs> of course. A little bit of salt. Okay. Right, I'm going to put the egg in the middle, and then you want to sort of bring it in slowly, a bit like you're making sort of pasta, so no lumps. Well, how do you do that? Can you show me? <laughs> I don't want to put any lumps in it. So just, so just keep, keep <laughs> doing okay, that, and, and just sort of bring, bring a little bit okay. at a time, and you're sort of doing All a right. paste. And then we've got some milk as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of milk as you sort of keep going. And then you should... You should end up with a uh, nice smooth, smooth batter. Oh no, that's yeah, yeah, see good. Yeah, no, that's good. I just whisk faster. Yeah, and if you've got some lumps, yeah, just whisk faster <laughs> yeah, and harder right. and get the lumps out. Oh no, it's looking good. No, no, that, so that's fine. Okay, nice. So nice consistency, so you've got that thickness, but just, just loosen it slightly. So, in effect, we're making a crepe. A crepe. You know what that is? Yeah, I do. It's a thin pancake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Right, so that's so there you go. Good. Like, I'm, I'm happy with that consistency. That's, I'm very happy with that mixture. It's good, very good. good. Right, so we're gonna, good. That's a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a pan in that. I might just loosen it slightly. Okay. So it's always a good idea to, you know, have the measurement, use it. Um, well, don't use it all. Just leave a little bit, maybe like 10% just in there. Yep. And just take your final consistency and rather than just dumping it all in. Okay. You know, nine cool. times out of ten, you can use it all. Sometimes, I don't know. Easier to add, hard to take out. Exactly. So that's good. Right. So I got a pan on here. What do you need? Sort of so, butter butter? yeah. So you could do it with uh, you could do it with a little of oil, a little bit of oil or a little bit of butter. Okay. I'm a I'm a you big fan of butter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, why not? You know. Why not? So we'll just get it. We'll get it hot. We'll just uh, melt it down. Oh, this is the fun part, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is the fun part. How do you get it? How do you flip a crepe though? Oh, oh you show me. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> right, yeah, this is cool. right. So that's heaps of uh, heaps of oil in there. Right, ladle. So depending on how big your pan is, how much ladle you want. I mean, you want to get it a nice thin pancake, because that's what we were sort of saying before. So I might get it a little bit hotter, and then you can pour it in, and then you want to sort of swirl it around, and then you can see the heat of the pancake sort of set in it, and then you can really nice. sort of get it's it in nice, and, nice and even. And then what you want is you it to sort of nice and set. If there's any little gaps there, you can just, just add fill a, them in. Yeah, you can just add a little bit. Back on the heat, let that set. <laughs> you know, I thought that was going to be a disaster for a minute, but testament <laughs> to your chef skills. <laughs> yes, no, it's not. It's not cooked yet. <laughs> and then you can see, you know, it's so it's so thin. And so ideally, we probably wanted this pan a little hotter. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Not that I'm the chef. No, but I but I do agree with you, Mike. Thank you. No. A little bit hotter would be good. They call me Mr. Logical. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so no. And uh, so we want to set that aside. Okay. You know, and you can see that it's already loose. So obviously use the non-stick pan or a, a well-seasoned pan. Get it a little bit hotter. You know, you can just flip it like oh, that. Ah, what a show off. You know, you can get a little bit of colour on there. You, well, I mean, it's so fast to cook and you just want to get it nice and set and it's just going to be a vessel to put all this flavour in which we're going to make in a minute. So once you've got it like that, you can tip it out and then you can do the next one. Okay, well, we've run out of time, which is such a shame, isn't it? So I'll be doing some cooking while you're looking at something else. And if you want the recipe, of course, it is on our website, thecafe.co.nz. It is time to get stuffing the pancakes. And look at the one I did. It turned out brilliant. Beautiful. Yeah, it's shame we didn't get on that on camera. <laughs> it's a shame. Oh. Right, so same pan, a little bit more oil, and now we're going to just dice up the paneer. Okay. So... You know, it's up to you, but it's nice to have a, you know, a little bit of chunkiness. That's going to go in now. Fry this off, you put a little bit of butter yeah. in there. Yep. Well, I've got a little bit of oil in there. Okay. I'm just going just to start frying that. 
you know, nice, nice high heat. I've got another pot on there. Yeah, what are we going to mix in there? I'm going to put another butter in. Okay. That's going to melt. Yeah. Pop all that spinach in there. Okay. And then just stir it around, give it a good season, and that'll literally take like 30 seconds to cook. Brilliant. So you can see, it's starting to get a bit of colour already. And the cheese, you know, it's still form, firm, it's going, to, uh, it's going to soften up, so it's going to be nice and creamy, but it's not going to melt down, it's not going to go into one big mess. Oh, you've got a good colouring on that paneer. There you go, it's a nice hot pan, and, and just stir it, and you can see it well, uh, wilting down. Bit of seasoning, and that is it, that's all you need to do. Right. So, still going for a bit more colour and texture, get building that crust up. And then what we want to do now is we've got a little bit of a curry paste here. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in there. Do you have to add the curry paste or is that optional? Well, it's just going to give you extra flavour. Okay. So, you, so you're almost making a curry. You know, if you if you didn't want to do that, you could probably just have some cheese and spinach and, you know, if you're happy with that. Fine. Okay. But now you're the chef, so yeah. I'll trust you on it. It's if all about some, flavours. Yeah, if you want some flavour, pop a bit of that. So okay, we're just great. frying that. Got a little bit of passata as well. That what goes in. Sorry? Passata. Is that like tin, tin tomatoes? Well, it's like a tomato sauce, yeah. Right, okay, cool. Liquid tomatoes. Ooh, that yeah, goes in there. So just those couple of ingredients there. I've got a splash of water. Mm -hmm. Just to sort of cook it down a little bit. We can give that a little bit of a seasoning, but there's so much flavour in there, you know, and so fast. Some chickpeas as well for a bit more texture. It goes in, so they're obviously already soft. Making a bit of a mess here. Well, that's why I've got a white t-shirt on, so I'm standing <laughs> yeah, back. Oh, yeah. It's all about the flavour, so don't worry about that. Okay. And that's pretty much ready to go. You know, you can pop some uh, fresh basil in there, some coriander in there nice. if you wanted. Um, we're going to make a little sauce quickly. Uh, mango chutney. Brilliant vegetarian meal, really. Too, oh, fantastic, yeah. yeah. Full of flavour. So mango chutney goes in there. Yep. Some coconut yoghurt. You could use a uh, plain yoghurt if you want, but nice. it's really nice with the coconut yoghurt. You know, the sweetness of the mango. Just mix that together and boom, you know, really fast. You've got a fantastic sauce. And then uh, I reckon we can build one. Okay, this is smelling fantastic. So just we'll get the first steps of the building. What do you do first? Right, what we do, so a little bit of spinach. Yep. So we'll pop some spinach in the middle. Yeah. Then we're going to pop our um, paneer. Okay, great. It's in there. That. Look at that. Now keep it tight, keep it near the middle. Don't go too close to the ends because we want to roll it up. And then a little bit of the mango and coconut yogurt. Oh, that looks incredible. And then what we're going to do is just roll it up like that. Oh, cut it there. Beautiful. Look at yum. that. Oh, and I've got to wait till the end of the show until I get to eat that because we need to take photos and all sorts. But it smells incredible. If you want the recipe, go to our website. It looks delicious. Can't wait to taste it. What are you going to be doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I'm making a fish pie with a pastry lid and it's actually Sonny Bill Williams' recipe. Oh, excellent. I guess he's coming in too. No. <laughs>